Hey tennis fans, I'm Blair Henley and welcome to Tennis Now Instructionals. Today we're going to be talking about the kick serve. No, not that kick serve. The kick serve is just another type of serve. So you have your flat serve where you're hitting straight into the back of the ball, your slice serve where you're coming out to the side of the ball, giving that ball a little side spin, and your kick serve is most easily described as a top spin serve. It's going to have a little higher trajectory over the net, it's going to bounce and then in theory kick away from your opponent. But it's not the easiest serve to learn, so why would we go through the trouble? Well, think about it from a baseball perspective. Say you have a pitcher who's throwing triple digits. He's throwing that thing hard, but all he has is a fastball. Well, the batter is going to catch up to that. They're going to know what's coming, and they're going to start jacking that ball right over the center field wall. Same thing goes in tennis. You could have the best flat serve in the world, but if your opponent knows that's what's coming every time, it's going to be really hard to throw them off their rhythm. That's where the kick serve comes in. It's going to bounce a little higher, hopefully outside of their strike zone. And so it's great to mix in as a first serve. It's also really good to have in your arsenal as a second serve. Again, it's reliable. There's a little more margin for error. And it's especially great, say you're playing outdoors on a really windy day, the kick serve is a great option. Again, it's reliable. You know it's going to work for you under pressure. So how are we going to hit a ball that's going to bounce and then jump up on the other side? Well, first of all, and I'm sure you've heard this before, you need to start looking at the ball like a clock face. So you have your hands at the clock here, 12, 1, 2, 3, so and so forth, all the way around. For a kick serve, you need to be making contact from 7 all the way up to the 1. Not just the 7, not just the 1. The whole thing straight up the back. In order to make that happen, you have to have a loose and relaxed wrist. If it's not, I promise this won't be a fun experience for you. Next, you need to make sure you have the right grip. For the kick serve, you have to at least have a continental grip, if not, further over. I actually move my grip even further over than a continental on my kick serve, it's a little more extreme. But at the very least, you wanna try to have a V with your thumb and forefinger right over top of that top panel on the racket. That's gonna really make it much easier to get that seven to one you're looking for. Next, I like to think about opening my strings a little bit on my backswing. So instead of here, opening my strings just a little bit, that's gonna really help me get that seven and go all the way up the back, up and over. Again, this isn't something that you necessarily wanna be thinking about if you're in the middle of a match, but if you're in your living room right now trying to figure out how to make this work, this might be something that could help you get that feel. I actually know pros who have their students start off with the racket right back here, a little bit open, toss and hit, toss and hit until you get that feel of the seven to one. Next up, we talk about, speaking of the toss, the ball toss. On the kick serve, you can bring it back just a little bit so the ball toss is right over top of your head. That's gonna allow you, it's gonna make it much easier to get that feel of the brush up the back of the ball. Now, if you watch the pros, their objective is to have every toss look the same so the opponent doesn't know what's coming, but for mere mortals like us, it's okay to bring the toss back a little bit. You don't want to take that to the extreme. Some people really contort themselves back here. That's a really good way to injure yourself. Toss right on top of your head. Next, you see when I make that motion, you see that stretch in my left side. That is absolutely key. If I go up to the line and my arm is only coming up to here, there's a really good chance I'm gonna be collapsing down on that ball instead of going up and out into the court. Next, I know this is gonna come as a shock to you, but you have got to load up with your legs on the kick serve. It's even more key maybe than in your flat serve or your slice serve. Really load up, you're gonna go up to the top and then out into the court. It's not just a straight up and down move, it's loading up and then out following your ball. I like to think of myself as following the ball into the court. And if you're going to go out on the court and practice the kick serve, I think it's a great idea to aim to the far right corner of each box. So if you think about it, there's really no way to get it there. So on the ad side, I'm going to be aiming out. I guess if my opponent is a righty, it's going to be out to their backhand side. On the deuce side, it's going to be right down the tee. If I can do that effectively, I know I have really good seven to one. If I can't quite get it there, I need to keep working. It's a really good test to see where you are. I'm gonna hit a few. I'm gonna show you some clips of some pros hitting a few just so you can get a really good visual.
So hopefully those clips give you a good idea of what I was talking about, but just in case, let's do a little review. In order to get your seven to one, get that kick serve working, you're gonna need a loose and relaxed wrist, you're gonna need the right grip, maybe open those strings just a little bit on the backswing, that's gonna really help you get the full seven to one. You need to make sure that you're tossing right above the top of your head. You're gonna to wanna to have that good stretch in your left side when you toss, and possibly most importantly, you need to make sure you're really loading up with your legs so you can spring up and out into the court. You wanna feel like you're following your ball all the way to the target. Give it a try, let me know how it goes. Feel free to ask questions in the comment section, and we'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.